Okay, so let's talk about uh, the packing of powders, the actual packing of powders. Um, for powder packing, that will be so-called uh, regular or ordered packing, which is when you treat them very mathematically, very simple. They follow certain pattern, simple cubic or FCC or HCP, something like that. Very simple to treat mathematically. And there will be more random packing, which is something like this, more realistic. Now that it doesn't have the so-called long range order. You kind of imagine this as a crystalline material, this kind of like a amorphous material, a packing of atoms. But in actual powder, the hard particles are actually powder, packed in similar fashion. But most cases, along so-called random packing, naturally. And uh, there are certain parameters that people use to describe powder packing. And most of them, most important of them is so-called packing density or relative packing density, which is the ratio between the total volume for the actual solid, the total volume of all the powders combined together divided by the total container or whatever you are overall apparent volume. Make sense? So that's kind of packing density, which is a ratio between the solid volume divided by the solid volume plus the space, open space or pores, inter-particle pore, pores between them. Make sense? Very simple. And related but less commonly used uh, parameter that people use is so-called apparent volume or relative bulk volume, which is essentially the inverse, the inverse of relative packing density. It's just the, the inverse, the solid volume plus porosity volume or open space volume divided by the solid volume or the inverse of packing density. And another factor that uh, we may come across similar for atom packing is so-called coordination number. The number of so-called nearest particles that are in direct contact with a specific or given particle, so-called coordination number or CN, coordination number. The number of nearest neighboring particles that are directly in contact with your particle of interest, with the particle you are studying, okay? So let's talk about uh, the simplest uh, case is simple cubic, right? So something like this, cubic, and then the second layer directly go on top of the first layer and uh, atom by atom direct the match. Something like this. We studied this when we studied crystal structure for material. Very few material actually packed this way, but there are simple cubic. We call them simple cubic. And if you remember from your materials engineering class, what's the coordination number for this case? Six, right? If we look at this particle or atom, Six, how do you get six? One top, one down, one left, one right, and it's three dimensional, right? One in the front and one in the back or behind it, right? So that's the six. And everyone, if you look at it, should be six. Similar for this guy, one left, one right, one down. Of course, we are cutting it. That should be one up. And one in the back, that should be one in the front. It's the same thing, coordination number is six. And for those, the packing density, if you refresh your materials engineering class, is pi over six, or roughly 52%. That's the way that you can calculate it. And uh, remember earlier, we did the class exercise to do something similar to this. But, but remember back then, we were leaving some gap between these, okay? Simple cubic. And then there is so called a simple hexagonal, hexagonal, which is okay. I'm looking from the side, one layer of ad, atom or same size, we call it a mono size. Every particle, every sphere has the same radius, same diameter. And one layer, they're packed close packing, dense. 
The second layer comes directly on top, atom to atom direct match. Or if we look from the top, this is one layer. We call this so called uh, closed packing. Do you see it is hexagonal types of symmetry? For this guy, if you look from the top, it that hexagonal types of symmetry, which means if I rotate the pattern by 60 degree, it overlaps with itself. It repeats with itself. Make sense? This pattern, when you look from the top, and where I'm pointing, when you rotate in along any of these items, rotate 60 degree, it repeats or it overlaps. And then the second layer of atom, when you put on top, it just directly lay on top. Directly lay on top. Atom on directly on atom. So from top, when you view it, it's hexagonal, but it's simple. Hexagonal. And in this case, I ask you, what is the coordination number? Well, coordination number within this plane, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? And then we said there's one layer that is below it and one layer above it. So that's why we said the coordination number in this case is eight, six for so-called in-plane particles. One for above it, one for below it. Okay, coordination number in this case is six. And you can calculate the packing density. It's pi over three times square root of three, which come out to be 60%. Actually, which means this so-called simple hexagonal packs slightly denser than simple cubic. Okay, if we continue, we can have something uh, related. Within one layer, still hexagonal closed packing, but the second layer does not directly one-on-one -on -one atom. It's misaligned so that the atom sits in the gap. Or if we're from looking from one from the top, for one layer of atom, we have hexagonal closed packing, but then the top layer, the layer above it, does not sit one-on-one -on -one above the atom, but shifted. You see how I'm shifting? Atoms along this atom shifted in not at this three atom, but between two <coughs> atom gaps. You see what I mean? It's not sitting here, or here, or here, but it's sitting in the gap between two atoms. So in this case, let me challenge you. What is the coordination number? Cn. So within, let's say the bottom plane, that's still 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? Above it, how many atoms are touching, touching this guy? Well, if you think re in reality, it's going to be two. Only this guy and this guy are touching. Believe it or not, this guy will not be able to touch this, the bottom one. <coughs> will not be able to touch this one. Only the one on the left and the one on the right. So in this case, the coordination number would be 10, which is 6 coming from the atom or the particles within that plane. The two is from above that plane. The, the other two is coming from below it. And if you do the mathematics, you can calculate so-called uh, packing density is 2 pi over 9. Again, somewhat higher than the simple hexagonal, higher than simple cubic. Make sense? And then, of course, if we can do further, that will be so-called uh, rhombohedral, but like FCC, face in the cubic, which we are more familiar, or HCP, then in this case, within one layer, we have hexagonal closed packing, but the layer on top, in this case, will be sitting in the three atom or three particle, so-called interstitial. Sits here. Make sense? So in this case, what's the coordination number? Well, 
a in this case it will be so called 12 because 6 for implant but the 3 for the atom in the center or particle in the center is 1, 2, 3 will be touching it and beneath it that's another 3 so in this case we have total coordination number of 12 and of course if we go through the exercise we can calculate the packing density of pi over 3 times square root of 2 which come up to be 74% roughly this is the 74% is the highest possible for repeat to yourself mono sized sphere which means every particle or every item have the same size in diameter and it's sphere if you have cube you have different packing but it's sphere and mono sized this would be the highest and the, i couldn't have something in between but in reality for actual powder where would we be for actual powder even if it's mono sized we may not be able to reach this just by random packing you see what i mean for actual particles you, when you are actually handling actual powder well the likelihood that you reach here is high or low not high <laughs> put it that way not high right you have to wait or you have to be very very careful 